When my kids were morphing from delightful children to angry teenagers, I bought them a couple of etiquette books. One was from Tiffany's and explained all these rules about eating at a fine restaurant. The other was this retro manual from the 1950s with all kind of obsolete advice about saying please and thank you. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about these books recently because etiquette is back in the news. Is it okay to Instagram your food? Can I tweet during a performance? If I take notes on my phone when someone is speaking, will I look like I'm texting? So many rules and no one to explain them. My friend Lori has been suggesting for years that we need a book of subway etiquette. It would explain the kind of things that you would expect a functioning human being to know without being told, but apparently don't. Things like, don't get on the subway until all the people getting off have gotten off. But based on experience, that common sense wisdom is lost on a lot of New Yorkers. No one has time for patience. In common courtesy, well that's just a lost art. So it's not surprising that we're all confused about social media etiquette. Sure, most of us understand that it's not nice to type an email in all caps. But once you get beyond that, we all seem pretty confused. In the past few weeks, a couple of businesses have started trying to help us out. First, some Manhattan restaurants made a rule that you can no longer take photos of your food. Apparently, some diners just can't stop themselves from taking a photograph of that succulent steak. Silly? Yeah, sure. But you know what? I've done it. And ask me why? I have no idea. Why do I want a picture of my hamburger? Policies vary from, photo, um, from, you know, from restaurant to restaurant, but from outright bans to maybe you can't use flash. How are we to know? While I was still trying to sort all this out, a Rhode Island theater came out with an announcement that it was okay to tweet during performances, as long as you sit in the tweet seats. It's also confusing. That's why we need a book of modern day manners with guidelines for every possible social media faux pas. Is it okay to link in with that guy I met at my grandma's funeral? Can I take a sexy photo with my phone in a public bathroom? Is it okay to post a photo of a stranger on Facebook just because I admired her shoes? See, we need a social media etiquette book. But I'm being so much overly optimistic. It probably won't help at all. Remember those etiquette guides I bought my kids? I'm still working on please and thank you.